Hey, Joe. Welcome to the winter season. I'm putting together our winter showcase. If you can think of a driver with a little bit of experience, a lot of influence, and a train to catch, be sure to let me know, yeah? Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. It's now winter, welcome to winter. Um, what I did is I actually uh, ended off last episode, uh, turned off the game and everything. I uh, went to bed, woke up the next day, and this is now where I'm recording. And when I started up the game, I wasn't expecting it to automatically switch to winter. Uh, like it did. Uh, we did unlock that, I think, sometime in last episode, I think. Uh, but anyway, it's winter time now. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it at all myself, so... Um, I was I was hoping to hold on to it a little bit uh, longer. But uh, what we'll do is we'll check out winter. Um, there's a couple of things I want to go do this episode. Um... These are what planned things. Um, I wanted to go get our bomb finds. Uh, these two bomb finds, our first two bomb finds, and uh, I wanted to go do the um, the showcase event, um, which is what we're going to go do in this one. So what we'll do is, for now, we'll put up a nice marker there. We'll Turn follow it over, when it is safe to do so. and uh, we'll check out the map in winter time. So I don't know if uh, if I included the map or anything. Actually, I just showed you the map. But, uh, let's pull up the map again quickly. You can see the difference, um, how everything looks. I think we can actually like drive up uh, this uh, bit of the uh, lake here, I think. Uh, because it should be frozen over by now. Which uh, just makes everything more interesting, really. I wonder if it'll snow as well, like when it goes to rain, if it'll uh, snow. Um, one thing I did want to do before I start this episode is check the settings to see if we can switch it to miles instead of kilometers. Because uh, I don't like kilometers, I use miles more than, uh, than kilometers. So I might try and switch that if I can. Hopefully it doesn't switch the temperature though, because if you go into the pause menu, it tells you what the temperature is, uh, which is kind of cool. It also tells you what the weather's doing at the moment. Here, I'll show you. Uh, there you go in the top uh, top left, minus three. Yeah, that's about a normal British winter temperature. And it's sunny right now. Um, thought I would just show you guys that just so you uh, just so you know. Whoa, crap. Yeah, the road surface does feel a lot different. Hold on. I want to go check out to see if that is completely frozen or not. It actually doesn't look frozen. Yep, that is definitely not frozen. <laughs> I thought it would be frozen, but uh, I guess the water's moving uh, a little bit too fast for it to freeze. Because right. uh, there's a river in my uh, local city, turn right. which um, which never freezes during winter. It, it does get like frozen spots, um, but it in never really freezes meters, over. Turn left. Turn left. Uh, let's go see if we can find a couple of bomb finds. Um, we have picked up a couple of bomb finds, I think, over between the first episode and the fourth, I do believe. Uh, we picked up two of them. I think one of them appeared after I finished recording. <laughs> uh, literally the second I finished recording, it, it, it popped up. Um, so I don't know if I uh, put that in or not, but it just said found a new bomb find, that was about it. So, let's uh, let's go see if we can find them. In winter time it should be a bit easier to find them anyway, so... In 400 meters, well, I would expect left. they would be easier to find. I don't know why we're not taking this thing off-road. Well, we will be anyway if we find the bomb finds, but... Uh, I thought it would be a good vehicle as well to do it in. That was the plan, was to do it in uh, autumn, but... Personally, I can't wait for winter. I like winter, it's uh favourite time of year. I think I've said that before. It's, uh, it is. <laughs> winter will always be my favourite time of year. I like the snow. A lot of people don't like the snow and the colds. I do. I love the cold and the snow. Just something about the snow, it feels so refreshing. I 
guess that's why I like it so much. Whoa, we just went over a train track. Meters. Turn left. Level crossing. Right, let's see if we can start to find this bomb find. So I don't know where any of them are. I don't know what the bomb finds really look like in this uh, game. So, um, it's uh, I guess it's just kick around, see if we can find it, check out uh, the farmers' fields. And if anybody sees it, you shout. Alright, what's this here? Is this it? Could this be it, baby? Probably not, right? No. Because it doesn't. That would be too easy, right? The thing is, though, they put the circle on the map and then it can be absolutely anywhere. I'm guessing it won't be up here. Somebody else's house. Yeah, thought so. Thought we'd just check it out anyway. Now I would usually skip until where I find it. I'll look at a map to find it, but uh, I really want to find it myself. I like finding them, even if it does take a little while. Don't see anything. It's better without the leaves on the trees though. Yes. Wow, the snow's getting pretty deep here. Try to see if I see it anywhere like down here, but I don't. Try to see if it's in like these trees. I know they like to hide them around shrubbery. So far, nothing. Sometimes they like to hide them on the end of trails as well. I remember from Buzz Horizon 3. They like to do things like that. If I had to guess, I would probably guess somewhere around here. Yeah, I would guess around here somewhere. somewhere. Hmm. Could it be on the back of a train, maybe? I don't know. As like I said, I don't have a clue what um, what the barn find looks like. I don't know if it looks like a, a barn or if it can be in like the back of a train car or if it's just going to be out in the middle of a field somewhere. If you found it, I'll be there in a tick. You have? Yes! Don't you dare open it without me. Will you look at that? It's a Spitfire. Uh, not the plane, obviously. Now, it might not look it now, but this car was a masterpiece of British design. Makes you proud. Alright guys, so we actually finally managed to find it. Take this back. All this talk of Britain has given me wanderlust. <laughs> Alright, so we finally managed to find it. I just I stumbled across it. Um, we probably just drove past it once or twice. Um, I was driving around the train yard, couldn't find it in there, um, I probably spent maybe about like 10-20 minutes in the train yard attempting to find it, couldn't find it, um, but uh, if you guys want to know where it's at, it's actually uh, right there, um, 
right next to the train yard, just on the outside, uh, just below it. Um, that kind of helps, I guess. <laughs> kind of points more or less to it. Uh, anyway, what we'll do is we'll come up here. We'll go find this barn find, which I'm probably guessing somewhere around here. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll go move on to our showcase event, our first showcase event. Turn around. I th and then I think that'll do probably so. do the episode very nicely. So yeah, um, I did uh, cut the recording there because uh, it was taking absolutely forever for me to find it. Um, I've got to say, well done to them. They hid that one very well. I just stumbled meters, across it, really. Sometimes you can tell where they're at from where people were on the map. People looking for bomb finds on the map together. Uh, I think I know where this next one is, just uh, from uh, where people were hanging out the other day uh, when we were recording an episode. And I think I more or less put the marker right next to it. You have arrived now, at your destination. I think it's somewhere around here. Could this be it right here? Probably not. I'll probably be a bit too easy, right? Yeah. I think that's a little bit too easy. Right, let's uh, continue to have a look. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a, an overlook uh, down here. Oh, we find ourselves a bonus spot here. There's our second one. Right, let's stop here a second. Let's have a look. Right, do we see anything? Um, I'm not seeing anything, I don't think. I don't think. Could it be over there, maybe? Let's go up the hill this way. Coming through the sheep, dears. Please get out the way. Thank you. I should have really said, please be a deer and move out the way. Ha ha ha. My jokes are hilarious. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're on the edge now. Um, uh, let's have a look on the map here quickly. Let's uh, see where we can... Right, so we've explored over here, down here. Um, let's move around up top here, I think. I think that's... Uh, probably over here is where it will be. Uh, we had a look all the way down here. I don't think we've seen anything... Uh, I'm guessing probably up here at the top side. I'm probably on one of the edges more than likely. Yeah, let, let's go up here. Let's see if we can find it up here. That's where I would guess they would put it. I'm just completely guessing here. I have no idea. And we'll probably stumble across it again anyway. Whoa! Okay. There we go. We managed to get off the rocks. Whoa. Are you going to turn back onto our wheels? Nope. <laughs> right, let's give that another go. This time let's take it a little bit more. Nope. Okay. She isn't going to go up. Right, I have a feeling that it's going to be on top of this hill. Just on judging on how hard it is to get around here, I have a very suspicious feeling. I think this is supposed to be the way up. Let's get up onto the top of this hill and see if we can see anything. And we see anything. If anything, this should be a nice bird's eye view of uh, if we can find it. 
Well, if we can see it, which is really sick. Ah, what's this here? This looks familiar. This looks like a barn. The relics barn. Yep, this is it. Found it. That was fairly easy. Found it. What did I tell you? Be right there. Whoa, check it out. Escort RS Turbo. Nice. Some 17-year-old boy loved this thing to death. Probably before I was even born. Let's get it back to the garage. So there you go. Um, that was completely randomly found, really. Don't worry. If there's any hoon left in it, we'll find it. So if you guys want to follow along and find where the bomb finds are, it's right here, right at the top, right at the top of the mountain. Uh, I thought that's where it would be, because the circle kind of ended around here. Um, we didn't see it all the way up to about here. So, I thought the last place could be is on top of the hill. But anyway, we're not that far away from our showcase event. So let's head over to our showcase event now. And let's go do the showcase and then we'll call it an episode. Wow, these things are actually quite, I would say, a little bit easier to find during the winter. During the spring, summer, or anything like that, even the autumn will always be a little bit harder. But here is our showcase event, just around the corner from it. We'll quickly go do that. And that one was uh, fairly easy to find since there was a massive hill in the way. Couldn't really put it on the side of a hill. Right, let's start up our first showcase event, and we're doing it in winter time, so it'll be fun. Everything's more fun in winter time. Ah, we're doing it in a Toyota. So, obviously giving us a truck to do it in. Yep, Toyota. Definitely. Let's go do this thing. Whenever the load finishes. <laughs> Let me guess, we're going up against that thing. Remember in uh, Horizon 3 we went up against... Uh, uh, what's it called? Sam. Hey Joe, I know it feels like you're just getting started, but this showcase is as good an opportunity as you'll get to have some fans screaming your name. We went up against jets, uh, helicopters, um, all kinds of stuff. I think even we went up against the hovercraft, I think, in, uh, in Horizon 3, I think. Alright, here we go. Looks like it's skipped back to autumn, maybe? Is it autumn? Yeah, it's definitely autumn. The browns and everything. Whoa, no, we're gonna land sideways. Crap. There we go. We got it. So this must have had to be done in, uh, this showcase must have had to be done in autumn. That's alright though. I kind of missed the winter already. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Only thing is though, when we go through water, um, we slow down. When he goes through water, he doesn't. It kind of sucks. Whoa! That was close. Oh, I think we've kind of screwed up the uh, the shifting. Wait, it's trying not to do any more damage then. Do you realise when when we shift the revs really drop? Whoa, he is again. Them. 
Yeah, we've definitely... Whoa, hello! Um, excuse me. Massively screwed up the gear and Let's see if we can win this. Neck and neck. Finished. First place. We must have been milliseconds. Nice. Four a second. Royals beats two fans in a big air mattress any day of the week. I never doubted you for a second. Wow, that was that was close, and we majorly screwed up our um, shifting. Somewhere I don't know where that happened. It must have been off of like the first jump or something where we land sideways. Maybe I don't know. Our influence is slowly going up. But there we go. So we found uh, two bonfires this episode, along with uh, we did our showcase event from last season, like as in season. Autumn season. But, uh, hopefully, that the races we're going to do are going to be in winter and uh, we'll enjoy them and everything. And uh, there we go, we've got ourselves an achievement. Come on, come down and collect your restored triumph so I can head out. Alright, so it looks like we've uh, already got one of our um, uh, bomb find vehicles uh, sorted out. So this guys, what I'm going to do... There's a story about a film being shot around here somewhere. Supposedly they just dumped the stunt car when they were done. Should we go find it? Alright, so... I think that's another bomb find. Let's uh, pull up the map and have a look. Yep, that's another bomb find we can go find. Uh, what I'll try and do is I'll try and do two bomb finds in one episode. Or maybe I'll try and get a few more. Anyway guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode right here. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you had, if you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, the like button's always right next door. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, hit subscribe. It always helps the channel out and helps the channel grow and all that good stuff. And I will hopefully catch you guys in the next one where we'll continue from somewhere around here.